Hey everyone, Techni here with something a little bit different. I don't even know if I want to say a little bit different. It's quite different, right? Still in tech. If any of you just follow me on Twitter or keep track of the community tab on this channel here, y'all have been hearing me talking about, hey, I want to start reviewing earbuds. Just again, because I'm so passionate about music. And again, I just want to let you guys know, this is in no way whatsoever going to interfere with any of the gaming stuff or PC stuff whatsoever. These will just make more videos. You know what I mean? And just so you know, this is also no sort of money grab or filler type thing. Like no company asked me to do this or anything. I do get emails from companies about them, you know, and I will be doing some. But again, this is nothing like that where someone else was encouraging me to it. Again, if any of you just follow me on Twitter or anything, I love music. I am incredibly passionate about it. And again, behind the scenes, I'm always testing these uh, earbuds out or headphones, audiophile stuff. And speaking of that, this will never lead into an audiophile channel or any sort of audiophile stuff. I will review audiophile headphones like I did with the 990s. We've, I, heck, I got more sitting here with some amps and stuff, you know what I mean? But that's what I'll always keep this, is basic consumer-oriented, right? Like a, an average shopper, not some sort of tech overload review on earbuds or headphones. Just, again, basic, simple, to the point, as an average shopper. And again, that's what I want to do right here. But again, the only reason I want to do this is because I am so stinking passionate about it. And again, me being new in this field right here, I don't know what is new and cool and what's the new products coming out. I'm going to have to build into that. So again, I'm going to be talking about a lot of the earbuds that I just pick up myself, think are cool, and I want to share with you guys. And I got to admit, I am a little nervous. This is all new to me, so uh, bear with me. So the first earbuds we are going to talk about on this channel are the Anchor Soundcore Liberty Pro 2 Total Wireless Earbuds. Now let me tell you what, first impression, this packaging is premium, very hard cardboard, nice rough coating on it, I don't know, it just feels fantastic, magnetizes to the side, pop it open right here, you have your case and then your two earbuds, underneath that you can have your manual, your USB-C charging cable, and then an absolute plethora of of ear tips. Now straight out the box with these earbuds right here, I use an iPhone XR, and again, you slap your earbuds in there, close it, then open it back up, pull your earbuds out, and instantly it just paired up with my phone. That stinking easy. Now they connect by Bluetooth 5.0 and you have a 32 foot range. Now with me leaving my phone here in my office, walking all the way around my house, again to different rooms, closing doors and whatnot, with a PC running with other wireless devices, even going all the way outside to my car, I did not lose a lick of sound, not a single stutter, static, or anything. Very crispy, again, no matter where I went. Now you get eight hours of charge time with the earbuds right here, 32 hours with the case. So again, one charge with the earbuds, bam, put them in a case and you charge it three more times. And it also has wireless charging or you can charge it by the USB-C port right in the back right there with a the little rubber seal that pops out. By the way, it takes one and a half hours to fully charge the earbuds and then two hours to fully charge the case. And the earbuds are IPX4, which means they're splash or sweat resistant. So you're good to go as far as workouts we're running in the rain. Now, as far as the case right here, it feels okay. It's not as solid as some of the other ones I've used. It's really cool though, how it just slides back. Bam, there's your earbuds. And at night, by the way, the earbuds light up in there, just kind of light up so you can see where you're putting them or pulling them out right there. And they magnetize right in there perfectly into the notch, even with the little ear loops on the side right there. So again, the case, not the best. It is very cool out slides. I wish it sealed a little bit more in the front right there. And I also wish it was white. You almost have like this grayish concrete look on the white version right here. I wish the case was solid white. But again, it gets the job done. Now talking about the fit of the Liberty Pro 2s right here, let me tell you what, these things fit so stinking nice and they really block off the sound. Like I might be yelling into the microphone right here, you know what I mean? But they don't dig really far into your ears like all right I gotta get these out I'm probably yelling here but anyways don't dig really far into your ears but they really block off that sound you have so many different tips to choose from and then also the wings by the way yes you do have to have the wings on there I guess you don't have to but if you take them off you have that plastic nub right there which is going to jab you into the ear and by the way you don't really feel the wings like they don't really bother you they just kind of go up in there again you don't feel them at all but they really lock them into place and just kind of hold them to prevent that very slight wiggle you know if you use other earbuds and you're running or something, you kind of feel that slight wiggle. You might be worried about them trying to put them in all the time. 
that little wing right there holds them into place very nicely. So as far as comfort and reliability, as far as them staying in my ears right there, I give them a complete pass. As you can see, I mean, my glasses are gonna fall off before the earbuds fall out right here. Now let's talk about the style and the design. If you look at them right here, that might be one thing I don't like. They feel a little bit big or look a little bit big, you know? What I think about it whenever I see something like this, I'm like, man, is that person using one of those old uh, Bluetooth phone call things? You know what I mean? I don't know. That's what it reminds me of right there, again, with that size. But the size of these earbuds really come into play with what's packed in there. Number one, starting off with the Astria Coaxial Acoustic architecture. What the heck is that? All right, so let's pull up this picture right here and kind of break it down. As you can see, you have your balanced armature driver and then your dynamic driver as far as your base and then the armature for your highs. And it's really nice having them separated like that because again, they're all going to be able to really perform themselves rather than being all jumbled up together. And you truly get that. Like the highs are just so stinking crispy. And then that base is very punchy back there. And again, everything really works as its own. Nothing's trying to overpower anything or anything like that and become mumbled. Very crispy highs and very solid thumpy bass. Now the Soundcore Liberty 2s have a frequency range of 20 to 20,000. 20 being your low end, your bass, 20,000 be your high end with your highs. And we see that a lot in a lot of common uh, headphones right there. But the cool thing about these guys is you're not really locked into that. You can really adjust it. Now, first off up here, you have custom where you can dive in here and really get your own curve and customize that EQ how you want more bass, more high more mids, whatever it may be, again, get in there and adjust it and it will save right to your earbuds. You also have some professional options here from some uh, Grammy winning producers. I honestly didn't like any of them, but they're there for you. And then you come down here to the other default options. You have like hip hop, dance, bass, reduce, pop and stuff. Honestly, my personal opinion with these guys is a Soundcore signature sound is the best. It's just nice, it's balanced, and again, everything performs by itself. Now you also got Hear ID, which you can click on up here, and it's gonna put you through some sound tests and let me tell you what, it, it's a gimmick. I don't like it at all because again, if you're hearing something different or whatever, it's just gonna make it sound kind of distant and muffled. Me personally, I did not like hear ID at all. Default sound core signature sound is pristine right here. So as far as sound on these buds, I mean, it is just fantastic. Again, with that default setting is what I preferred, but of course your hearing's not gonna be the same as mine or your preferred sound's not gonna be the same as mine. And it's so cool to be able to dive into there and adjust it to what you want. And again, it's really easy, the presets or the EQ or whatever, bam, and it saves right there. So again, whatever sound you like is what you can get with these guys. Now, the other really cool thing about these earbuds that I really love, again, kind of going on with that size, why it has that size, is you have dedicated buttons on both ears right here. You know, like a lot of earbuds, you gotta tap them next, you know, you're pounding into your ear. These have the nice button right there, and again, you can just grip on the bottom of the bud and press the button right there. And it's so cool, again, you can dive into the app, go over here to the button press, and you can change them to what you want. The left ear, double tap, if you want volume, voice assist, next or previous track. And then again, your hold for 15 seconds, what do you wanna change that to? Like me, I do my previous and next track, and then if I hold it, I can increase the volume. Now, one stinker about that, whenever you hold it to increase the volume there, it's only gonna go up one notch. So again, you can hold it, Bam, one notch. Hold it again, one notch. You gotta let go of it each time. So that's kind of a stinker. I wish I could hold it and it would steadily climb at a slow rate. But again, each time you hold it, it's gonna go up one notch. So cool to have that stinker, how it operates. But again, very nice and functional. Now, as far as taking calls and a microphone on these guys, you have quad microphone set up here. So you got two in each earbud. But let me tell you what, of course, you got the earbuds all the way up here on your ears. And whenever I was taking calls, I called multiple people with different phones and whatnot. Majority of them have apples. But anyways, obviously your voice is coming forward, right? So this has to pick it up. So that is the sound you get. You get that distant sound. It's not echoey, maybe a little hollow, but again, distant, because obviously with any earbuds, the microphone's not in front of your face. It's back here. And then again, you're talking this way. But let's go on and fire it up and I'll give you a quick mic test. All right, we are now using a microphone on the Soundcore Liberty Pro 2s. I have both earbuds on right now. So we're using that quad microphone right now. Uh, definitely not the best microphone. It gets the job done, a little high pitched or whatnot. But what I want to do now is I'm going to take out the right earbud, put it in the case, and we are going to go to just one earbud now. So right now I am only using the left earbud and the right one again is in the case and off. So now we can see what it sounds like with just one earbud in. All right. So lastly, the price of the Soundcore Liberty Pro 2 truly 
wireless earbuds, an absolute mouthful. But as far as the price, $149.99 regular MSRP, but you can always get these guys right around $130. That's how I got them. They had a 15% off coupon, but right now I just checked and they had them at a set price of $129.99. So let's say $130. Now, as far as value, that's hard for me to really say. Again, I haven't tested too many, not knowing what others really offer, but I have a quite a few over there that I'm currently testing. And comparing these to those around that same price bracket, around 100 bucks or so completely worth it right here i absolutely love them from the comfort the build the style yeah i wish they were maybe a little bit smaller right here but again they really work out as far as the features packed into it the eq adjustment in the sound is just absolutely perfection so hey let me know what you think about the soundcore liberty pro 2s do you use them i know these aren't brand new just recently came out again it's just a set that i purchased i love them so much that i wanted to share them with you and again if you haven't used these and you're looking for a nice set of buds let me tell you what look no further these things are stinking awesome but hey thank you so much for stopping by and watching my first review on wireless earbuds right here i hope i was able to help you out some way if you were looking into these earbuds or a new set of earbuds right there and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos hey i hope to catch you in the next one bye now